Hello again, folks, and welcome back to Let's Play Neverwinter Nights. I'm your host, the Game of Darius. Last we had left off, we had found a... The truth of these caves. Uh, that truth being... Hey, apparently the progenitor master race of all races is... Reptilians. Of course. Not everyone knew that. Disclaimer, I totally did not know that. <laughs> I wonder just... I'm, I'm now wondering just how canon this game actually is to Faerun lore anymore. Um, you're a dude. Or gal? You know, say gal. Gal named Janice. Greetings. I am not imitating that voice. Eh, you might not be green, but you sure took a fair bit... I'm clearing the trolls and ogres out of these caves. Who are you and why are you here? My name is Janice and I was a prisoner of those monsters. Well, kind of a prisoner. The hell do you mean, kinda? Why don't I just tell you the whole story? You're, it's easier to explain that way. Yeah, I'm a mage of no small accomplishment, but I'm also fascinated by archaeology. Oh, I think I have your book. I was with a troop of archaeologists and I were... And we were exploring these caves. I became interested in an unnatural pattern on the cave walls and accidentally became separated from the others. Then I heard the screams. So the others were attacked by trolls and ogres, right? Figure that out by yourself, eh? By the time I got back to where they were, everyone had either been killed or had fled. I was very concerned for my son, Ravat. He was a little slow in the mind. In a quick glimpse, I noticed that his body wasn't on the ground. And the largest troll I can't have ever seen came back into the cave. He seemed surprised to see me, which was all that saved me. He started to hoot and shout to the others, then came bounding across the floor. I began to cast a spell, but the sight of the blood on his claws caused me to slip in the incantation. I meant to cast Otaluk's Resilient Sphere, a very rare but useful spell. So what happened? The spell sucked back on me and trapped me in a form-fitting impenetrable force field. I couldn't move, but the trolls couldn't hurt me either. They were so impressed, I think they thought me a goddess. Goddess? What do you think of that? There's enough room in this shell for me to talk. When I could talk, but they couldn't hurt me, they started bowing down and bringing me gifts. Not that I could accept them, but they brought them anyway. So now I get to the worst part. Even though you have killed all the trolls and ogres, I can't get free. I don't know how long the spell will last, but I'm going to die if I don't get out of here soon. So what am I supposed to do to help you? Game? Oh no. There we are. I need you to find Rivat. He has a ring that was his father's. The ring has a one-time cancellation spell on it. I created it to protect Rivat from spellcasters who might seek to, harm to, seek to harm me by harming my child. Where will I find your son? We had some outbuildings on the surface near here. He could he would have stayed there without worrying about me. I better go quickly, the thirst is starting to get to me. Oh, this better not be some damn bullshit. So not deeper into the caves because I mean I could go deeper into the caves. Hmm. We shall see. Actually, no. We're not going to see. We're going to exit the caves because I just got done going through a whole freaking supposedly technological ruins thing. Hello. I don't recall. That's because I didn't. Maybe I did that one. Actually, wait. I had... I had came in up here, there was a couple of chests, but someone was all- oh, wait. Okay. There we go. Um? Had I looted this thing? I don't remember looting this place. Here comes the halfling to steal my kill. 
They're shying. Yeah, I 100% did loot this place. What the shit? Well, can't complain too much. I'll still do it, but I can't do much. Hmm. Alright, GTFO. <clears throat> I'm presuming GTFO. Yeah, this is the East Road. Oh, hi. Oh, wow. I am out there? Well, I say out there, but this is... Oh, that's why I didn't explore these yet? Because this is done in tiers, like I'm at the top of the place now. Okay. Realize the brave and noble frontiersman Alok, who scoffed at the warnings of lesser men and built this fine tower. <laughs> uh, that's funny. In the most sadistic sense of a way, it is funny. <sighs> nice to be outside again, though. Of endurance. There's a chest in here. Uh, and because of its location, tell me it's going to have a nice hard time getting to it. That's fine. So, out here is she talking about? Hello. Going by the name of Jax. History of the creator races. Uh huh. Okay, okay. I won't lie. Little sick of the whole creator racist thing now. If only because oh, the whole, okay, okay. you know, quadruple lizard folk dudes that were all all right. We're gonna rule your mammal species again. It's like, yeah, okay. Uh, no can do. Too complex. That's fine. Totally don't need to save someone. Help! Attack! What? What? Oh, 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 uh, oh. Oh, well, you, you don't look like... Oh, oh, never mind. You seem rather nervous. What's your name? My name is Jax. Professor Jax. A famous archaeologist, don't you know? I am looking for knowledge about some ancient creatures. That's why I came here. Who are you? Uh, my name is Darius, and I am interested in hearing about these creatures. I'm not done dealing with these creative things. Oh, a fellow scholar, are you? My intelligence score says no. I'm talking about a creator race. Very fascinating, actually. I believe they lived thousands of years ago, and I think one of their ruins lies somewhere around here. So you're looking for dead things. No, no, no. I'm looking for proof of the existence of this race. You see, some fellow archaeologists and I were hunting through the cave systems in the area to find an entrance to some ruins that lie beneath them. It was a marvelous expedition, or so it seemed. I figured there should be lots of treasure and tomes created by this race, but then we were attacked by the trolls and the ogres. Trolls and ogres? Tell me more about them. I was studying a rock formation in one of the caves when they attacked us. We had some guards with us, and they were holding the ogres off, but the trolls killed them as easily as children. Well, obviously, they didn't hire very good guards. We hired what we could afford, and we paid for our mistake. We ran for our lives. The guards gave us enough time for a few of us to get away, but not enough. Not nearly enough. Sorry for your grief. All that death has come to nothing. So many sacrifices, and we still don't have the proof I need about creator races. Tell me more about this creator race. Not so much is known about them. They're very powerful, and it is expected that they fought for control of Torrell against the dragons. How long ago did this supposedly take place? I'm like the supposed scholars in Waterdeep always sneering in disbelief. This happened over 10,000 years ago, even before the first human civilization of Netheril came into power. They used powerful spells, creating magical effects and items that can only be dreamed of now that the gods have limited its use. That is actually like a lore thing, like, magic was so goddamned un 
presently strong in the world that the deities actually canonically had limited its use with the use of spell slots and only up to like ninth level spells. Funky. What kind of treasure are you expecting? Er, well, if they were powerful enough to contend with dragons, as I think they were, I have had enough powerful magic items, not to mention wealth. The trolls might have been have some trouble sure too. And you think you can prove this race existed? If they were as advanced as I think they were, they should have left behind some writings. I could get my hands on a book that proved these races were built by the creator's race. Then I would get the rest of my grant money. I need to find the complete history of the, of the ruins. What is the grant money for? Money goes to pay for the guards, supplies, and equipment, as well as expertise of some other expertise. Of other researchers, rather. Without that money, I cannot learn more. That's why it's so important that I find the proof. I could help if you look you look for this ancient tome. I suppose I don't have much choice since no one else would, will go for it. I can pay you 500 gold pieces if you find it for me. Here's a key for the barracks. You can take, talk to my colleagues inside for more information. Just find me a tome that proves the creator race existed and that they built these ruins. Bring it back to me as quickly as you can. Eh, this sounds dangerous. Money up now. Uh, I'm gonna get the money like right now, so. I think, anyways. Because I have like four books. Oh, you're already back. Oh, what can I do to help you? Oh, any evidence of the tome yet? What? Uh, I think I found your books. Is this it? Oh, yes! Astonishing! How did you get past the trolls? Nope, nope. No import. What matters is that you have it now. Excellent job, young lad. So, I trust 500 gold pieces is ample reward for recovering your book? You wouldn't believe the hell I had to go through to get this. Surely you could afford a little more? Oh my, well I suppose it was probably t very tough. I hope that 700 750 gold would cover it. Alright, that's good. Uh, I must return to Waterdeep now. Good luck to you. He says, walking into a freaking pole. Alright, I need to find, um... Oh, Rabbit, there. there you are. Mama? Oh, you're not Mama. Oh, me in big trouble. Oh, quit your bubbling. Tell me who you are. You be mean. Me not like that. Me, Rabbit, and you be... Who you be, rude man? Call me Darius. That's nice. How me help you on bad day like today? So terrible. Mama got be sold by trolls. Mean you get her back or be in big trouble. Oh, I do not want to continue reading this text. I'ma be good archaeologist. <laughs> Archaeologist. Okay. You know, digs for old stuff person. Me and her, me be her helper. Me protects her. Only me not do good job. Why, what went wrong? He talking with other guard when look back, Mama gone. She not worry much. Me not worry much. She goes sometimes, then she come back. Then we hear sounds like mad dogs. We turn around, and there be trolls and in in ogres. <laughs> trolls that Jax told me about. Yeah, nasty trolls, ugly ogres. So we get ready and start to fight. Ogres kill most guards, but me fight brave. Then the troll hit me in the head and cut me. I no longer can see when. With eyes and blood, then Jax grabbed me hand and lead me out of case. Me like he's to survive. No one else here help me and me afraid go back in the dark cave. He must wait here, hope she comes back. Uh where will they be keeping your mum? You be in cave and area, same place you go to help Jax, me see you got key. What would you pay to get your mom back? You pay you 300 gold, me not have much else. That'll be all mama give. Don't worry, I'll save her for you. Oh, you good man. You find me mama, me tell you what now. They have me mama in cave near here. She'd be nice and sweet, except when she grabs here and yell at you for breaking plate or milk spilling or pee not eating or fidgeting or... I mean, not supposed to talk about her like that. Give you a ring to show mama. This be... Daddy's ring from when he die. Me not know him, but me mama say that he was quite nice man. He friends say he nagged to death, but he not understand what that meant. 
Go quick and say mama. Okay. Money, 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 gonna get lots of money. Oh, I say I'm like, gonna get a lot of money, I'm probably gonna get like next to nothing. I came this way thinking that to myself, oh yeah, I'm gonna find the individuals that had themselves a uh, little escaping fest of the prison and run back and do the thing. Nope. And I save an old lady from some trolls and ogres that think she's God. You over here? I see big chests. Big chests that I missed out on. You are now in a party PvP area. So don't blow one another up. Oh, it's, oh, it's done. done! Let me guess. Us. Oh no! It was trapped, but it was not locked. And also trapped. Okay, dokie. Okay, dokie. Ugh, the amount of locked traps in this game is quite annoying. Oh, it's done. Like, I would love to use like pretty much any of the other characters in this game: Red Tiger, the Cleric. The, um, hell, I'd also take Grimna. Except I wouldn't take Grimna. Because no. I'd love to take any of those other characters, but I'm pretty much forced to take Tommy because, I mean, he's like the best at lockpicking. And you can't equip your NPCs with anything, other otherwise I'd totally equip him with some stuff that might actually help him be better at it. Is that Tommy? You need a higher dexterity for this to be a thing? Well, here you go. Hello, Janice. Greetings. You're back, huh? You certainly took your sweet time. I was gone like 10 minutes, lady. I say that you have the ring from Rabbit. If you would just touch me with the ring, it should negate the spell. All right. Oh, thank you. That feels better. Well, what are you standing around wasting time for? Don't you have other things to be doing for? Don't you need help getting back to Revit? What do I look like? Someone's weak old granny? Yes. I'm a powerful mage. I can make my own way back now that the spell is broken. <sighs> Some NPCs just so oh, goddamn ungrateful. Oh, I was the idiot that got myself stuck in this... Bell that essentially made it so as I will just eventually shrivel up and die from starvation and thirst. Get back my ring, otherwise I will do absolutely nothing but die. And then you eventually come back with a ring. What, do you want me to be grateful? Yes, I would love it for you to be grateful to me. Freaking goddamn... You know, one of the reasons that I dislike magic so much is that even the littlest bit can seem to make it so as a character is just so unsufferable. And not even in a fun way, just in a, uh, just in the I want to bury my axe in their face way. Hello there. Oh wow, me so happy you found Mama. She pulled my ear when she get back. Me love her so. Here, Mama, say so give me, give you three hundred gold like you promised. Thanks, that'll be fine. You wish me could give more? Thank you much. Me glad to have Mama back. Hello, Mama. Be coming. I wanna say me must go now. Bye bye. <sighs> what is that worth? Oh, okay. Three hundred gold pieces. Eh. 200 additional experience. Okay, that might be actually worth it. Uh, oh! You're the Linton guy. Uh, Linton? Hello? Excuse me? I'll spill your guts. Okay, you seem occupied. Are, well are you? Met. Okay. Oh, God. What do you want? I had enough trouble and I'm in a foul temper today. How can I help you? How are you? Name's Linton. How's yours? Name's Darius. Pleased to meet you. 
Well, aren't you just in a dandy, cheerful mood today? You're certainly miserable. Maybe before you judge people, you ought to find out if they have a reason for being upset. You should... <laughs> How about we start with that creator race obsessed Jax and his stupid expedition to find ruins that don't exist? You don't think the ruins exist? Oh, I did. Jax still me had me totally convinced. But we searched through cavern after cavern and know what we found. Nothing. Glass. Knew we had found nothing. We found trolls and ogres. Hordes of trolls and their pet ogres. No ancient creatures, no tome, tombs, no tomes, just trolls and ogres. We were studying this unusual rock formation because Jax thought it might be special, but it wasn't. Suddenly, I heard the scream. Turn around, and there's this huge troll holding my brother, Dracus, by one leg. Dangles him upside down, and then bites his head off. Ah, oh, well, sorry, that's pretty horrible. I don't need your pity, I need your help. One that ate my brother was obviously the leader. He started pointing and snarling in a whole tribe, or whatever you're supposed to call a group of trolls rushed down and started to attack us. Only a few of us escaped from those caves. I want someone to go back there and wipe out every one of those trolls, especially the big one. What would you be willing to pay to have these trolls and ogres wiped out? All I can afford to pay you is 300 gold. That's all I have left out of this fool's errand. Sounds like an important job. I'll do it. Excellent. Bring me the troll chieftain's head and I'll pay you 300 gold. I'm not worried about signing a good save. Alright. Okay, good luck and happy hunting. Well met. Well met. I am not imitating that. So you're back. Do you have the head of the troll chieftain yet? I have the troll's head right here. Finally, my brother is avenged. Very impressed with your skill. Take that off your hands and bury it with pleasure. I wish I had more gold to pay you, but 300 is all I have. Sorry there isn't more. Is there a gate? That'll be fine. Hey, well, good luck to you. I'm off. And off he goes. It's mostly just barren now. Like, we had What's-His-Face leave. We had... Janice and... A kid. Oh, it did not look like a kid. This pack is too heavy. Are you kidding me? Apparently, 10... Oh, 27 throwing axes. Okay, that's a little bit more... sensical. For the game to be all like, Bark is too heavy about. That other guy... Empty bottle. Oh! Oh, hi! Oh, you're Delilah! Hey there, Delilah! Oh, she poisoned me. Alright, alright, surrender. Let us stop this fight. I cannot win. She's one of dead, right? Potion of heal, rest of restoration. Alright, I, I know I have a potion of antidote in here. Where's that antidote? I know I had a potion of antidote. There we go. You beat me. I cannot defeat you, try as I might. Though fighting you was not my desire. And now I would only ask that you show mercy and let me leave defeated. Nope. No deal. Here for your death. <laughs> Uh, changes like that make me giggle. Delilah's ear. Pile of books. Oh, another neutralized poison. Excellent. Okay, dokie. Ah, uh, God. I think that's it. Yeah, save for that random bit of money and a torch. Alright. That wasn't such a chore. I could... Mm, I could immediately go back to Port Last. 
be about turning into Lila's ear then. Mm, nothing this way. Part of me really wants to go to the Green Griffin though. I'm also curious as to where exactly it is that the, um... Who's a Medusa? It's... Oh, archaeologists. The who's a Medusa? The, um... I completely forgot my train of thought. I don't even know how I forgot my train of thought. It wasn't... It wasn't all that long of a track. <laughs> A little bit less than 3,000 more experience points to go. Uh, I probably don't get any experience for the deers. Deer. Not deers. Deer itself is already applicable as a... Plural. East Road, Neverwinter Wood. Oh, more shrubberies. Don't know why I'm picking all these berries for him, but I'm pretty sure that there might be someone in town or something that's all like, Oh, would you go and fetch me some of these berries? And then we do that and... All that fun stuff. Oh, wait, what? East, but but we went north. East, Neverwinter Wood. West, Port Last. Did we not just go north? North to the North Road. And Green Griffin in south to the. All right. West is Port Last. Okay. Whatever game. North Road goes east. Cause that makes sense. A lot of people around here just apparently died. There we go. Alright. Uh, who was the bloke? Or where was the bloke? Shut up, phone. There's the magical sundries. It wasn't there. I think it was this long house here. Nope, you are the cracked anvil. Alright. Ah, man. Temple. I don't think I actually went to the temple. I don't recall going to the temple. Oop, hello. Uh, right, was the mercenary barracks. I think? I've been in this town all of not that long. <laughs> I had to pardon me. Lion's Arms Inn, was this the place? Everything happens for a reason, it does. Thanks so much for helping me, Al Hilar. I got a feeling they want me to talk to those individuals. Oh, you <sighs> told me you were ugly, but <laughs> oh, no matter. You're the hero of Neverwinter, I suspect. It's nine! Nine! Not even all that low. Half orcs are uglier than me. Who are you calling ugly? Oh, uh, part of my rudeness, sir. I never meant it that way. It's just that you, they didn't describe you well, is all? Why would you need my description? I can already tell you why they need my description. Oh, I'm not good at this all, very well at all, am I? I'm sorry, I just wanted to make sure it was really you. I never want to, I went to thank you. I have family in Neverwinter, and you saved their lives when you cured the plague. I wanted to give you this ring as a token of my gratitude. You have a very, very strange way of... Uh, got up over there. 
You have a very, very strange way of being thankful to the people that saved your... Whatever. Nah, uh, keep it. I don't need it. But, uh, it's a very nice ring. Please take it. That's why I wanted to find you, after all, to give it to you for all you've done. Can't you take no for an answer? Very well, I guess you're... Oh, okay. Okay, then. Refusing a gift from a person is okay. You're there. You're from Neverwinter, are you? Well, working for our best? I am, and I'm proud of it. Thought so. You had the cure for whaling all sewed up. Sure, I should have expected it. And you are... Name's Dark Tongue. Dark Tongue Breakbone. I've been out here since you cured the whaling, looking for signs of uh, where it came from. Have you discovered? I heard what you've been told, I'm sure. There were Don't cult beings. Young Ander, this will work out yet. Everything happens for a reason, it does. I hate you two already. I ain't sure where exactly, but I've been suspicions. How do you suspect the cult is based? Along the North Wall Road, I'll tell you why. There's a network of caves up there. Used to be a few goblins there, but now there's hundreds and worse things as well. Went up there to check it out myself. Seems like there's orcs, bugbears, and goblins crawling all over the caves. That's how I got my knee hurt, too. Fast bet goblins ambushed me before I could find out what was going on. So what makes you think the cult is involved? Two reasons. First, the beasts started to gather just when the plague hit Neverwinter. Second, there was a man leading the goblins who attacked me. That ain't a typical thing. Maybe the man was a cultist. Maybe not. Either way, my gut's telling me that the picture ain't right. I'll be sure to check it out. Listen then, if we find anything, you tell me. Two heads are better than one and all that. The adventurers need to stick together and find out those bastards and punish them. Best of luck to you. I wish my knee was healed up so I could come with. So, that's pretty much just affirming, hey... Go north. I'm not sure how well I had handled that whole halfling guy thing with the red flipping armor. Oh, this is the temple. Funky. So they make it so as you have to get into the temple through a teleportation circle. Okay. <coughs> Excuse me. I understand it. It's just funky. Alright. Bannox. And Drac. Got one of them ears for you. Feels good to see you again. Have you... Yeah, I get it. Hey, found one of the convicts. Which year do you have? Delilah's. Is indeed the markings that men of the bulwark told me of. Congratulations, lad. You've done a service for, for us all. Please offer you the bounty for it, then. Thank you, that'd be fine. You certainly earned it. Have you any other ears? Nope. I'll be going. One down, four to go. I really want to go... I'm going to head up towards the Green Griffin Inn. North Green Griffin and Luskin. I, I primarily want to go up there because I really... want to get that other possible battle axe. Because from what I'm seeing, it's a very nice battle axe. Oh, yeah, that was the other direction I could have entered from. Hello, girl. Hello there. You best be careful treading the road around these parts. A dangerous place these days. Listen, old Gerald. Your Gerald? Done mentioned you. He did, did he? Pepperidge Farm remembers. He's a fine lad, he is. I expect then that you're some manner of adventurer that he thought could help us. Seem to think so, yeah. Dangerous thing to ask of anyone, but it might be worth your while, lad. Let me fill you in, in case the boy didn't. The hills of this area are home to creatures of all sorts. Bugbears, goblins, and the likes. Normally, they don't trouble us much since Luskin stopped patrolling the area, mind you. They've become plenty brave. 
For weeks now, they've been attack attacking anyone passing through these parts. Back in the farm is a few times too. That's when they made off with my wife. I figure it's all that here Gab's doing. Damn Ogre will get what's coming to him one way or another, I swear it. What's this about your wife? Leia is her name. She was taken from the farm one evening when the boy and I were out scouting the hills. Nothing we could have done about it. These creatures have never shown any interest in taking folk before. Not even sure why they would start now. Ear, ear gab behind it for sure, though. Can only pray that she's all right yet. I'll get her back somehow, and then that ogre will pay for all the grief he's given us. So who is this dear gab? He's an og ogre mage. Always at least one. Always at least one when they're dealing with ogres. Rather cunning sort who's decided he's just a critter to lead all the other monsters. How he got it into his head I haven't a clue, but from what I can tell he's gone and built himself an army. What he intends to do with it scares me even just a little. I went and sent a warning off to my old friend Eringeard. Yeah, Hind. Hind. But I haven't heard back from him yet. I suppose he's got more important things on his plate right now. All things considered. Why would Luskin stop patrolling? I haven't heard. Never would have had its plague that, Lud that Luskin's gone and shut their walls up tight. No one goes in, no one comes out. Never liked the soldiers much, like bandits sometimes, the way they act. Since they stopped patrolling, however, it, seems it makes you realize what worse things they keep in check. If Luskin was keeping order, Dear Gab would never have gotten it in his head to make his move. My wife would still be here. Well, perhaps I can help. Maybe you're good at that. I can reward you if that's what you're keen for. I'll warn you though. You want to be the first adventurer to head into these hills? There have been other adventurers? Aye, a, f a few have passed this way and headed into the hills to check out the creatures for themselves. And have returned, I'm afraid to say. What kind of reward are we talking? To be honest, I haven't much left from my adventuring days. I'll be happy to offer what gold I have though to have some proof of what happened to my wife. Or better yet, to have her returned. I'll also offer gold for Deergab's head to know for sure that he won't be pestering anyone else in these parts. I know it's not much. Chances are, Deergab has, will have plenty of loot for himself. I'll look into it as soon as I can. I'll be grateful for it. Find my wife or bring me proof of what's happened to her. Bring Deergab's uh, Deer head, if you can. Either should be great service. You know, just casually bring me the head of an ogre mage. Uh. So for those that don't know, ogre mages are pretty much actually intelligent ogres, and sometimes frightfully so. Frightfully so, uh, and they have innate magical abilities. Um, if I recall correctly. The ones from 3.0, 3.5 edition were like a CR7, which I suppose in the scheme of themes, things right now, considering we are like level 8, ain't much. One moment, folks. Sorry about that. He's doing his thing. But yeah, Ogre Mages, they're, they're cunning. Uh, sometimes they have like lightning bolts and fireballs and whatnot, but a lot of the times they prefer their tactic to be much more uh, hit and kill sort of things. Stuff like, oh, turn invisible and then hit you with spells. All the spells. That's a cow. Okay. <laughs> Just one lone cow up here on its lonesome. Totally makes sense. I suppose I could also have checked out his um, hut. But. Here? Yep. That's a. Oh, that's a dire wolf. Okay. Finally. Big old wolf. Moderates. Dire wolves are larger, more vicious. Vicious? British versions of their common ancestors. They are often found in the company of powerful rangers or druids. Interesting now to have made their game. They're commonly found in the presence of rangers and druids. 
very specific note to have made. I've been playing a lot of Valheim, so I looked at that deer and instantly thought to myself, Hide! Food! Where is this... Port last to the north, Green Griffin Inn. Are those boars wanting to attack me? Okay. Great cleave. <laughs> Come on. Uh. What the hell are you guys doing up there? Thank you. That time you came and helped. Holy shit, man. I'm going to assume that those boars don't drop anything worth a damn. Is that a cave? I'm not going to yet check out that cave. I want to get to the Green Griffin Inn. See what's there. See what's happening. We do a little bit of exploring. I still don't know what's up with these shrubberies, but... Sounds like a lot of wolves. Hmm. Yeah, we'll see. There we go. North Road, Green Griffin Inn. And I believe... Like, I got to here, and this is about as far as I ever got in the game. I greet you. Are you going to travel, sir? I'll be forced to reject you from the inn. Uh, so you don't mind me stealing from the... Seven gold, just kind of in a wood pile. Okay, All right. Okay. Yep, nope, that makes sense. And a bolt. Cross trap. Okay, dokie. Okay, dokie. Horsehair helmet. Is there anything good in that crate? Um. No can do. I guess it can't do. All right, I'm gonna guess that this is the staples. Barn. Same difference. Him some oxen. Ollie ollie oxen free. <laughs> Anyways. <clears throat> oh. This must be the green dragon. Ah, there he is. This is the guy I want to talk to. Welcome to the Green Griffin Inn, friend. Something I can get you. Green Dragon? Did I just say Green Dragon? I've not watched Lord of the Rings in a long ass pimp time, so he's saying Green Dragon's like weird. Oh, for a small end, this place sure seems busy. Yes, well, there's a lot of people traveling through the area, people who can't get into Luskin. I have a fine inn here, after all. H have the patrons said that there's something else going on? No, the patrons seem to say that something else is going on. Listen, if you've a point, make it. Otherwise, I prefer to keep out the trouble. I'm not one. I'm not one for all this game playing. There wouldn't be other reason, would there? No, there's no other reason. Just people passing through, waiting to get into Luskin or what have you. Any news you can tell me of? I don't know if you heard, friend, but the gates of Luskin are closed off. They're not letting anyone in or out of the city. Hmm. I really need to talk to other people first before they actually tell me, hey, here's what's up. Good to see you. Yeah, something I can do for you? I look like an adventurer. Baby, name's Gam, and I'm here for the competition. That should be enough for anyone. Competition? What's that? I'm not something... It's not something I'm free to discuss. As uh, you understand, it's quite a, it isn't quite legal in these parts. Might be up for the contest. Tell me about it. Don't hear about it from me, friend. As I said, try someone else. Good to see you. G good to see you. No, but you look like such a dapper individual to get information out of. Look at this guy. Look at that mustache. 
so dapper. All right, this time I'm saving before talking to people. Hey, yes, suppose you're here for the bloody dungeon, eh? Yeah, that's me. Here for the dungeon. What do you know? Wouldn't know nothing. You don't know nothing. <laughs> Give me how much you're going, and I'll tell you what you're here for. How about a 75? No, I don't think so. Not for someone like you, at any rate. Want to bargain with you if you get rich? Will tell me. Now. What? Must I tell you about that dungeon won't touch me? Not here, not down there, not down below. Bugger off already. Oi, hello there. I could probably kill you all. I was definitely killing you without much of a second thought. Hello there. Oh hello, it's quite busy here, isn't it? Yes it is. You know why? Everyone's here because Mutaman is putting on a show. Adventurers like me will be trying to get in through a dungeon beneath his inn. Filled with terrible traps and monsters, I hear. The first person to make it through gets the reward. And a bit of fame, too, naturally. It's all very secretive, I understand. The noblemen are here because they like a good scandal and love to watch violence. Sure make for a good story. If you're truly interested, you might want to talk to Mutaman Mut about it. He would, would know far more than I, of course. He, she's nice. She's all like, hey, here's this illegal underground dungeon that's going on in the green... Griffin Inn. Surely you would know about it anyways, right? Uh, yes. Absolutely. Okay. You have bodyguards with you. I'm not in the mood for talk right now. Perhaps later. Okay. Dun, 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 dun. Feeling this. I suppose it isn't okay, stealing so much as finding it for the guy and possibly gonna help him you know selling it to him later all right um, I'm gonna take everything that I have that is not identified which probably isn't much and that loop is not a very good loop just saying how did I even pick up that halberd? Eric's key, gargoyle skull. Another unidentified cloak. Two unidentified cloaks. Ah, ah, ah. I thought I was gonna give the guy all of my things. Cloak of Elvenkind, cloak. Folks have elven kind everywhere. So ridiculous. Okay, I suppose instead of just having it so as everything that I want to identify is in one spot, I could just pause the game and be all like, oh, what's this do? Because identify does not last long at all. It's annoying. Look at protection for evil. Full plate. Alright. Well, on the right side, that saved me. Roughly 200 gold. Pending. Welcome to the Green Griffin Inn, friend. Something I can get you. Uh, I'd like to ask you about this competition of yours. So someone told you about it, did they? Blasted fools! If word keeps spreading about like this, I'll have the militia on my head in no time. Nevertheless, you know, and that's that. Are you interested in taking part? Absolutely. Right then, here's the key for the back room. Remember that you'll have to pay Jeru 500 gold to be allowed in the dungeon. Good luck. Why does the name Jeru sound familiar? Welcome to the Green Griffin Inn, friend. Something. Uh, if I'm all booked up for the moment, friend, there's a lot of people waiting for Luskin to open its gates again. I do have a selection of other goods I sell if you care to look. Absolutely. freaking lootly. First off, I want to sell some of this other random crap that I have. I've only roughly 10 minutes of this video left, so I'm not going to bother going into the dungeon, but. Boy, howdy. I suppose I... Actually, how much does the Identify spell... Because the whole thing with the Identify spell is that for a short period of time, you are given a shitload of lore to pretty much be able to identify anything. Um... So I'm just curious now how much lore that is. Alright, it's that key that's relatively useless. 
To me, anyways. I don't need a... Mm. No. Sell it. Get rid of it. Goodbye. Um, selling those, selling these, selling that, selling that, selling this, selling those, selling this, that, all things, stuff, opal, wait, can't fight? Uh, fire opal is well over in hues, how you lose? Aw. Oh. I don't know what that's for then. Ring, go ahead and sell. Where's all this other weight coming from? I am now confused. Oh wait, there's split mail down here. Or banded mail. Upper. Elven kind of shit. Uh, random horsehair helmet. <clears throat> I guess I got a lot of these, but they're like half a pound. It seems like it's mostly that banded mail. What do I even do with the gargoyle skulls? There are many unusual items in this game. This is one of them. Just an empty bottle. Guess I can. I'm gonna drop this. Sell the fire gates. Sell the tools. I don't know what else there is I have to sell. Oh boy, that loop. Gonna do something to my psyche. I can't sell any of these, strangely enough. I mean, these two make sense, but I thought that the dude was going to take them out of my inventory when I was done with them. I guess not. Sell the aisle. Alright. Finally, time to buy some stuff. Uh, padded armor? No. Leather armor? No. Studded, full plate, half plate, banded. Chain shirt plus two. Total of six. I got eight. Breastplate. Total of six. Never mind. Flint. Chain. Breastplate plus two. Dorm armor. Hello. A total of six with fire and sonic resistance ten and spell resistance ten. Again, I probably explained this back when I was playing more f Bello. The longsword does additional acid. Hold the phone really quick. Did I take any feats that are like, hey, I love axes? Weapon focus battle axe. Yes, I did. Okay, that's my own fault. <laughs> like, if I didn't. Uh, battle axe plus two, battle axe plus one. Here you are. Silvermane's Bane. Silvermane. Heroine of the Dwarves had a jealous stepsister, Solarna, who she killed in battle. Solarna's spirit came trapped within the killing axe. From her vantage point within that blade, Solarna took her vengeance by provoking many subsequent wielders to kill her, their sibling. The curse was broken by the Dwarf Scarlin upon the killing of his brother Nahal. Nahal? Nahal. Nahal. Freed from Sarlana's influence, the weapon has since been able to give life as well as take it. So, it is a battle axe. It does times three critical damage, all that fun stuff that I love. It is plus one, keen, which also gives regeneration, and has raised dead. Now, honestly, I'd be in this into this weapon if only for the plus one keen effects, but the regeneration just makes it so as I don't need to have one of these rings on me. And the raised dead is kind of... kind of whatever? I need to double check whether or not that single use is like actually single use. Ever. Period. Because that would be kind of stupid. But it's also stupid expensive right now, so... um. <clears throat> Probably not going to use it for the time being. Matter of fact, part of me really just wants to sell the Sentinel plus one. Ah, great axes. Ah, bastard swords. Did I have a scythe? Whoa, what is this thing? Dagger was a gift from Targus, god of war, to Cedric of Neverwinter. 
originally allowed its wielder to polymorph into many forms, but the magic gradually decayed and now it is the blade itself that polymorphs. From time to time, over the eons. It currently takes the shape of a greatsword and will likely remain as such for many years to come. So it's a plus two greatsword that can cause confusion and vampiric regeneration? Uh, I suddenly really want to try to find that monkey grip thing all over again. God damn it. Morning star plus two, commas, sickles, throwing axes. Uh, I need another 20 grand, nearly 30 grand in order to afford that axe. Maybe I can get it once I get out of the dungeon. Harp of Pandemonium. What? Like their namesake, playing these instruments produce shifting discon disconsolate tones that seem to penetrate the ear and confuse the senses. And strummed by a talent, these random notes coalesce into fields of pure chaos, turning dedicated enemies into dazed idiots. That's actually pretty hilarious. Uh, but there's nothing else. Ugh, I really want to get that freaking axe. Yeah, I need another 24,000 gold pieces. How slash where am I supposed to be able to get another 24,000 gold pieces? 23,500 gold pieces. Besides selling literally everything that is in my possession and then some. What's cruel too is that I really want to get some of the other stuff that's in this game. I mean, I can't sell that. Sash is shimmering. Honestly, I'm only keeping the sash until I find something that's actually worth a damn. Boots and reflexes are nice. Ugh, this is torture. It's sitting right there. I... Mmm... I could sell the chromatic breastplate. I don't see why I would... I'm gonna hate myself if I sell it, but I'm going to sell it. And it's, it's just nice to have the cloak of protection from evil. Wait, what was this one again? Amulet. Yep. Wait. I'm only just remembering, aren't I supposed to get like a shitload of stuff out of the, um... From doing that thing? Oh, dark vision. Thing of insight. Yep. That one. Let's sell those. I'm never gonna actually use them. Uh, I think that's about it. Wait, nope. There's this garnet. Lanarel. I I need to sift through some of the side quests and see where it is that I sell some of these. But I'm going to do that later. Because it is nearly an hour, and so I'm going to kill it an episode. So many potions! I could probably actually sell a lot of these potions. Not a terrible idea. It's a horrendous idea. What am I thinking? Because <sighs> I don't need much besides the bigger, better, better potions. All right, I, I'm gonna, I gotta call it episode here. Empty saving. LP thirty-three. I love gaming sometimes. Anyways, I'm gonna call an episode here. When we return, I'm gonna look into some of the side quests that I can do. Um. Because I really want to get that money. And the side quests I don't really mind spoiling myself over. Because how the frick else am I supposed to get the money to avoid stuff like... To buy stuff like the silver main, eh? So, thank you everyone so very much for watching. I hope you guys are enjoying this series as much as I'm enjoying playing it. And as always, hope to see you guys in the next video. Take care. Cheers.